My name is Randolph Veterings, Program Manager Electrification and Hydrogen within the Port of Rotterdam. And today we are on the second mass vlakte here in the Port of Rotterdam. Hi, my name is uh, Leijs Groenendaal. I work for Shell as Business Opportunity Manager for the Holland Hydrogen One project. The first and biggest electrolyzer that's going to be constructed here in the Port of Rotterdam. We're here at this spot where uh, Shell is going to build Europe's biggest hydrogen plant. Lies to start with you, can you explain a little bit more about what exactly Shell is going to build if you look at volumes and size? If you look here uh, behind me, you can see the first uh, activities uh, taking place on the 200 megawatt uh, electrolyzer plant, which is uh, a significant step up from uh, yeah, the plants in existence. I think the biggest plant that's, that's out there is now uh, 20 megawatts. So it's a, it's a tenfold uh, fold increase. So uh, yeah, this is the first uh, large electrolyzer in the energy uh, conversion park here in the port of Rotterdam. And uh, yeah, one of the, the biggest in Europe. Randolph, um, how is the port uh, contributing to the development of this project? Yeah, so the electrolyzer of Shell is one of the first in the conversion park. And the conversion park exists of uh, four different large-scale electrolyzers, mm -hmm. so 200, 250 megawatts each, adding up uh, together to one gigawatt. So this will be the first one gigawatt scale location for, for hydrogen production. Uh, and what we do here is we build the, uh, the, the infrastructure, so the electricity infrastructure that can serve four of the um, uh, electrolyzers, but also make the connection with the offshore wind. So there will be, on the conversion park itself, there will be an offshore wind landing. Yeah. So a two gigawatt um, offshore wind farm will be connected with this area. Uh, but also what we are doing uh, in the next phase is that uh, those factories will produce a lot of heat, waste heat. Uh, and we are exploring now the expansion of the heat roundabout in such a way that we can use the heat that comes from those renewables, uh, renewable factories for, uh, for the heat roundabout. And, and why did you specifically choose this location to build it? Uh, this location is, uh, is unique because everything comes together here. We got the, the customers here. We are going to uh, produce the, the hydrogen to our refinery in Pernis to decarbonize our fuel products, but also to uh, mobility for a future mobility market on, on hydrogen. From, from one uh, 200 megawatt plant, you can take 2,300 trucks off, off the road that normally would drive on diesel, can now drive on hydrogen, which is a huge uh, reduction of, of greenhouse gas, of course. Yeah. What else are you uh, working on in terms of infrastructure to accommodate projects like this? So what we need for this, this, uh, this project and for electrolysis is, first of all, a lot of green electricity that comes from uh, offshore wind. It needs to be connected with uh, uh, factories like the one that the Shell building. Um, so we need to um, support more renewable power in the port, and we need to make sure that the infrastructure, the hydrogen infrastructure, is there, so that it can come from this factory towards the users, like the refinery in uh, of, of Pernis, uh, of Shell, in, in the other side of the port of Rotterdam, uh, but also going to other customers like the heavy mobility uh, industries etc. here in the port. What does this project mean for the wider uh, decarbonization of the port of Rotterdam? So this project is really the first step in the green hydrogen development. And what Lies already said, it, it will enable the, uh, the, infra the infrastructure, the, the investments mm -hmm. and really the, the build of the open access infrastructure throughout the port. So Shell will be the first one that is going to use that, but multiple companies will, will follow after Shell. Uh, it's not only using, but also help uh, help constructing uh, the infrastructure. I think that's that's a huge yeah. enabler for the for the rest of the uh, conversion park. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We recently saw uh, some press releases from different utilities across Europe about building hydrogen plants too. Um, what makes this uh, the decision to build this uh, plant so unique? Well, you saw a lot of press releases of uh, yeah, in attempts or our initiative to build the plants. This is what we're actually going to construct already, right? Yeah. So this yeah. one is the first and uh, the one that's actually uh, yeah, up there, up front. The, the, the one that really will enable 
the rest of the infrastructure the, the first step. It's yeah. a stepping stone. Where does the power to make green hydrogen come from? And when, when the hydrogen is made, where does it go? <laughs> okay, so for this plant, the, the power comes from Shell's uh, Hollandse Kust North uh, wind farm, which is also under construction. That's a joint venture between Shell and, and ECO. Um, and when it's uh, constructed, it will go through a grid connection here to the, to the Maasvlakte. And then the green hydrogen, once it's produced in this, uh, this electrolyzer, will go through this open access uh, pipeline through uh, to our uh, uh, refinery in Pernis, where it will decarbonize fuel products. But also uh, we'll have an offtake point for mobility. So we'll have direct access to uh, mobility refueling uh, stations. So trucks can, can also drive on hydrogen. I have a question to both of you. Um, what are your ambitions uh, for a future hydrogen economy? And I know this is probably a really big, <laughs> difficult question. Yeah. <laughs> How long is a piece of string, right? But if you, yeah. if you could dream about yeah. what your future would look like, what would it be? So for, well, the Port of Rotterdam today uh, supplies 30% of the total European energy demand. So we are an energy hub here mm -hmm. in, in, in Rotterdam. And this is something that we want to stay also in the future. And we believe that in order to decarbonize all those streams, hydrogen will be a significant uh, part in that. So in the future, uh, the vision that we have uh, set up as well, uh, is what we expect is that Rotterdam will become a hydrogen hub for Europe. So not only for Rotterdam, not only for the Netherlands, but really for the Northwestern Europe cluster. And that what it, that's something that I envision for, well, in a couple of years time, well, a couple of years, maybe tens, tens of years time. Yeah, Allies. yeah, yeah. I think uh, we, we strongly believe that uh, green hydrogen will play a large role in, in decarbonizing all the hard to abate uh, sectors, right? From, uh, from chemical plants, steel industry, uh, but also mobility. So with this, uh, this stepping stone, uh, project, uh, yeah, the first step is set in, in that, uh, that direction. What would you say are the, the main challenges to reach that vision you, you just described? I think we have several challenges that we have to tackle. Uh, but I think one of the first milestones and one of the biggest steps that we have taken is that the first big electrolyzer mm -hmm. is now going to be built. Yeah. That was the first challenge that we had. Um, and then, of course, a lot of things comes, to, comes together. We need to have a business case. We need to have the regulation in place. We need to have uh, the infrastructure that needs to be developed. So I think this is the start and we will find many more challenges that we, that we need to, to tackle during the, the, uh, um, uh, the road that we're taking. Uh, but I think, yeah, we will, we will get there. So yeah, no, I agree with everything that, uh, that Randall just said. It's just, uh, this is a first, so uh, it's still, yeah, first of its kind, it's, it's a costly project. So costs need to come mm -hmm. down to enable, yeah, fast following of, of, of rapid development. Uh, the regulatory framework needs to be clear. So everybody, uh, all the, the investors are clear what the business case is and the customer base needs to be developed, right? We need to really stimulate the, the hydrogen economy, uh, economy, not only on the industrial side, but also on the consumer side in mobility. And then the whole picture, the whole value chain is, is clear yeah. and, and the hydrogen economy will take off. I have one last question for Lijs. Um, the project is, is called Holland Hydrogen One. Does the one indicate that we can expect more plants like in, in this area in the future? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. you can. Uh, well, we, we haven't, don't have firm plans yet, but uh, the one indicates that there might be a two as well. Thank you very much, Lijs. Thank you, Randolph.